Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas and Welding Supply. Uh, we're here again today, and we have a special guest, John Mensch from ESAB. Um, we got a new EMP-235 hooked up, uh, and we're gonna weld with it today. So hey, why don't we uh, why don't we get rolling on this thing, Andrew? All right, sounds good. Well, before we do that, let's uh, let's make sure we got the proper safety equipment on. And uh, I know she got some glasses there. So yep. before we get going on welding, we want to do safety glasses, leather gloves, leather jacket, or a uh, flame retardant jacket, and uh, your welding hood. So you can find all those items at bakersgas.com, um, and we'll attach a link below to uh, pair up some of the gear we got on today. So what right. we want to do is we want to turn on our gas supply, make sure that we've got a good cylinder pressure. Right now we're between uh, 1,500 and 2,000 pounds on the, on the cylinder. Um, next thing we're going to do is set the gas flow. Uh, that's going to require us to be in the MIG mode of the machine. So I'm going to pull the trigger and we're going to turn the dial on the flow meter to make sure that we get our gas flow set correctly. We want to set that between uh, uh, 25 and 30 cubic foot an hour. Right there? Right about there it should work. Perfect. So from here we're gonna we're gonna run the smart MIG mode and we're gonna weld on some of that uh, quarter inch material. And Real simple to set up on the machine. Let's go back to the home screen. We're gonna set use the smart make feature. This is a short circuit transfer mode. So we'll show you the difference here between short circuit and spray in a moment. But what we're gonna do right now is run in uh, S make mode. Uh, this is our adaptive make process on the machine. And what it'll do is adjust the voltage as we, as we, uh, uh, as we weld. Uh, let me repeat that. Let me start off in the beginning. So we're gonna run in our S-MIG mode to weld on this quarter inch material. And what S-MIG is, it's a, an adaptive MIG process that will actually adjust the arc voltage as you're welding. And, it, and it'll see changes in electrical stick out and travel speed and the machine will tune in to maintain the optimal short arc. So what we have to do is select the mode it's going to ask us for a wire diameter. Uh, we're welding with 035 right now. And then it's going to ask for a material thickness. And we're going to weld on quarter inch material. So you'll notice on quarter inch, there's going to be a few settings on quarter inch. There's actually four different settings. Now this is your wire feed speed. This is 300 inches a minute, inches per minute of wire feed speed for quarter inch material. If I turn the dial down, I can go 290. Notice it still says quarter inch. 280, quarter inch, 270, quarter inch. That is a range in which you can weld on quarter inch effectively. And when you notice when we go down to 260, it drops down to 3 16 material. And, and I noticed today when we installed that wire, that's a bare wire. Uh, what, what do you guys, what are you hooked up today? What are we running? So we're gonna run our 035, ESOB Aristo Rod 1250 wire um, available at Baker's Gas. The wire comes with the machine and it is a bare wire. It does, however, have a coating on it and it's uh, we call it our ASC uh, technology. So it's advanced surface coating technology. Ultimately, what it does is it helps smooth out the arc and it helps us with uh, uh, reduction in spatter and you're going to just see a smoother weld profile. Cool. Alright John, let's give this a shot. Try Go for it. it. So while welding, what you're going to see on the machine display is your amperage and your voltage output. So as the machine, is, as Andrew is welding, you'll see these numbers fluctuate slightly and that is what the machine, that's where the machine is tuning itself in with the changes in Andrew's electrical stick out as well as his travel speed. What that does is it ensures penetration into the throat of the weld. Okay. Hey John, let's uh, crank this thing up. Let's see what it can do. I want to try it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We'll uh, we'll run it in smart mig. I'll crank it up in smart mig. Okay. So, 
Uh, the max on Smart Make with 035 is uh, 400 inches a minute. That brings us up to 3 8 material. Okay. Um, and we're going to weld on a quarter inch with it, right? Yep. So yeah, all you got to do to do there is what? Just uh, pick up your travel speed a little bit, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, before you start welding, oh, man. why don't you, you know, make why don't you, why don't you play with that bad? You want me to make the change? Yeah, just make the change. Yeah, yeah. Take that. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's go. Top bead right there. So, it wet out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Probably dug in a little bit more. Oh, absolutely. A little yeah. more heat there. Now, what would be? It's not pulse. Or I'm sorry, it's not spray transfer, but we have to change gas, correct? To yeah. To go into a true spray, you would have to change to at least a 85-15 gas. Okay. Um, I believe. Um, you know, I could crank it up here, but I'm not going to be in a true spray. Okay. Um, you know, other than that, you know, we could, we could crank it up. Do you want to try it in the first place? Yeah, do you got gas? Absolutely. Oh, okay. John, I, uh, swapped out the gas. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing going to spray transfer. All right, cool. So that, that orange thing, that orange ring right there, that means we're on, uh, 9010? Yeah, well, it, at Baker's Gas, we paint all our 9010s orange on the top. That's okay. just a color code for our fill process. But... To do the, the, to be correct, you have to follow the label. Always pay attention to the label. Um, that cylinder could be painted black, green, purple, blue, pink. It all goes off what the label says. Okay. And never off the color of the ring, never off the color of the cylinder. We've had people come in and say, well, you're giving me oxygen. Well, no, your other supplier, you painted uh, oxygen bottles green, whereas we paint our argon bottles this green color. So I see. Different paint is not a standard, but the, the the label is so you have to follow that what we need to do now to run our spray transfer with our 9010 gas and 035 wire is we're going to switch over to uh, the standard mig mode so andrew has to crank it up i'm going to turn it up to about 500 inches a minute we're going to go at 29 volts just to kind of see what she does that's probably the top end of an 035 to get a good spray okay um and we're running the 9010 gas um so we should be good to go here let's uh Let's give it a try and let's, push it and let's see what it does. You'll notice a little bit of crackle from the short arc. And you can tell the heat input is much greater. You can see that heat signature on the back side. definitely say that it was at the max on that 035 but yeah. it still ran really well really well yeah, now, what, what, go ahead oh they're at 187 amps so that's what we are running yeah, that's where you, where you stop welding so we're going to run 187 while you're welding you're going to run about 260 amps okay. so, so then the max is on 285 on this machine the max output is 285 we'd have to throw some 045 wire in there to really crank it up or we could crank up the wire speed and get a buried short arc you know and you can really see how much weld metal you can put down with this unit if you want to try that <laughs> all right we're going to turn it up to 650 inches a minute from 500 so you're going to see still a spray arc but it's going to be a, i tend to call it a buried short arc but you're right on the edge there um and we're going to run about 29 volts let's keep in mind we're running 035 wire so this is a, it's a very high deposition rate, so you're gonna have a lot of travel speed. Um, you're also gonna have a, a good amount of penetration and a lot of heat input from this as well. 
Uh, we'll see the amperage go up. The voltage, you know, stay right around 29 or so. Okay. Perfect. Smooth, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. The bead's really smooth too. Very fast travel speed. John, that, that wire ran pretty good. Um, for that big a bead and that fast at travel speed, um, it wasn't too bad. But I mean, I really prefer like an 045. You got anything that uh, you brought along? You know what? I've got some 045 flux core. Perfect. We'd have to switch back to 7525 shielding gas, but and then change our drive roll out um, and change our contact tip, and we can run 045 on this machine. Really? Yeah. Awesome. You want right. to try it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so now we're gonna run some of this 045 Dual Shield 710XM. Um, it's a mixed gas uh, flux cord wire. It does produce a slag, but it does require a shielding gas. Uh, we are gonna put the machine into flux core mode, and it is gonna ask us to check the polarity, but that's only for gasless wire. We are using a gas shielded flux core. So we're gonna leave it electrode positive this wire plugged into the positive lead. Our ground will remain, or ground or work lead, will remain in the negative connection. So uh, we're gonna run about 230 inches a minute and 25 volts for the first weld here, and let's, uh, let's see how it goes. This is an all position flux core, so uh, Andrew will be able to weld vertical up. He can weld flat and horizontal as well. So whatever way you'd like to do it, Andrew, go for it. All right, All right so we're gonna run this uh, flux core wire uh, horizontal fillet weld, give it a try. So let me watch your eyes. So with our flux cord wire, flag, um, we do have to remove that before we can make any other welds over top. Uh, be careful, make sure you're wearing your safety glasses, but it should be able to chip right off. So we'll brush it a little bit. Nice little, nice little bead profile, nice, stays in the joint pretty well. Uh, the real advantage to flux core is out of position welding if you're running all position. I think we could run a vertical up on there. Sure. Um, you can do a couple of things with this wire. You can you could run it straight vertical up and run stringers, or you could do a slight weave with it. So it's a, a very versatile wire for many applications. Um, find a joint to weld on. You know what, I'll just run a weld right up here. Put a big honking weld in there. Obviously oversized for the joint. But just to show you that it's got uh, it's got an excellent ability to keep that weld puddle out of position. I'll let this cool a little bit. And 
I just did a weave, a weave straight across. So I tacked a new piece on to get a little bit longer weld, but let's give this one a shot. Watch your eyes. So that flux cord wire really helps for, really helps keep that weld puddle in position as you're welding vertical up or out of position overhead as well. So it kind of makes it just makes it easier to to run an overhead or out of position weld. So yeah, you do have to chip some slag, but it usually pops right off. And as you can see, the weld profile is nice and flat in the in the joint. So. And very minimal to almost no spatter. I mean, and if there is any spatter, it, it typically just scrapes right off. Scrapes the brushes off. That's pretty cool. So, there's our flux cord. Now we're at the bottom end of that flux cord. It's got a full range on it. It's very user friendly when it comes to range and operation. Okay. Um, you can take this wire all the way up to 400 inches a minute if you want it. Thanks for watching our video, guys, and a special thanks to John Mench from ESAB for bringing this machine out for us to drive. Thank you, sir. Appreciate no problem. That. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, also, leave any comments about, you know, maybe you want to see something more on the Rebel. Uh, also, you'll be entered into a drawing for a free pair of gloves just like this. These are used, but we'll get you some new ones. And if you haven't subscribed to Baker's Gas on YouTube, please do. And all these items today can be purchased at bakersgas.com. Check out the website. Uh, there's always some promos going on, free shipping, free Yeti cups, that kind of thing. Thanks again.